What's up everybody, Paul Carl here. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can find exactly how many searches a keyword gets on eBay. Uh, you're gonna need a store for this, so if you don't have a store, sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, you go to your marketing page, go to advertising dashboard, create new campaign. From here, you're gonna click on this advanced create campaign. That's gonna take you to this page here. Uh, you can name it whatever you want, put in whatever you want. None of this matters because you're not gonna launch the campaign unless you want to. Um, then you're gonna do manual setup, type in something for your ad group, and then here is manage listings. Whatever keyword you wanna get information on, uh, find one of your listings that has that keyword in it. Or you can even create a listing, set its price to a million dollars or whatever you want and type in some keywords that you're interested in so that you can use that one to populate the, the search results here, or the suggestion results. All right, so I, I added a bunch of stars here. Um, let's see, who else? I'm gonna add Wayne Gretzky. If I can spell his name right. Oh, I gotta hit, <laughs> sorry. So this is searching for ones you already have selected. You have to click on add listing first. So we're just gonna do it. I'm not editing that out. All right, I'm gonna save that. And so now here it shows us all the suggested keywords that it wants us to bid on. Um, and you can search this, sort this by monthly searches. So we can see Michael Jordan, by far the most popular search. Nolan Ryan's way up there. Wayne Gretzky, man, he's as big as Shaq. That's crazy. <laughs> and both of them are bigger than Aaron Judge. And so it's really cool. Like whatever, whatever category you're selling on, obviously this is trading cards. Um, that's what I operate in. But you could use this for anything that you're thinking about selling. Maybe it's different clothing brands. Are you curious how often somebody searches for uh, Ralph Lauren versus, I don't know, Tommy Hilfiger, you can put those keywords in and find out and it can help you target some brands. Um, but yeah, you can just kind of scroll through here, see everything. It even lets you export the keyword CSV. I think you might have to hit add keywords first before it'll let you export it here, but it's going to show you, the, yeah, excuse me, it's going to show you the suggested bid. That suggested bid gives you a lot of information. If it's a low suggested bid, that means not a lot of people are trying to compete for that particular keyword. Now, that could be because that brand or that product doesn't sell very well, or it could be because there's an opportunity there that nobody else has jumped on yet. So take the keyword that you're interested in, do a search for it on eBay, look at the sold comps, and you can find out if it, if it has a high sell-through rate, then advertising, you know, paying a 50 cents for a click on that keyword is probably gonna be worth it if you're selling something with big enough margins. Anyways, that's the video, short and sweet today. Let me know if you're playing with this tool and, and if you find anything interesting, leave it in the comments um, so we can talk about it and share any cool information that we find. Um, I'm going to try to come back with some more like tutorial videos and cool stuff like that when I get a little bit more time. Uh, this video, I was just so excited. I had to, had to stop what I was doing and get it out real quick. <laughs> Have a good one, everyone.